Bring Me the Horizon vocalist Ali Sykes is speaking about the band's highly anticipated new album, Ammo, which is expected to release in January of next year. Speaking on the new record, Ali says there was a reason the band chose Mantra to be their first single released for this new album, mainly because a lot of the other content on the record is different, much different, so much so that he says he had a little bit of a meltdown about it not wanting to alienate fans when they release new material because so much of it is so different. He says, Mantra came a bit later. We wrote a lot of cool stuff, but we were kind of scared. Like, what are we going to show people first? We're really proud of everything we've done, but how are we not going to completely alienate everybody when we show them this record? I actually had a little bit of a meltdown about it, and then we ended up writing this song. It just felt right. It's just different enough. It's not safe but it's just a bit of what you know and love about us while pushing it out there. It's not that it's not representative, but every song on the record is completely different. It's a lot more experimental than our last record. Also in this interview with NME, Ali Sykes spoke for the first time publicly about the divorce that he went through a couple years ago and how he struggled with whether or not he should present this in the band's music before eventually deciding to write about this divorce and the personal turmoil that he went through during that time. He says in the interview, I went through a divorce a couple of years ago and I really didn't want to talk about it. I don't want it to seem like I care and I didn't want to dredge up the past. I didn't want to give the person the glory of writing stuff about them and shit like that. After a while, it just became apparent that I needed to. I needed to get it out of my system. It wasn't the fact that I was miserable. I was fine. At the same time when you go through something traumatic, you carry a lot of stuff with you after it. There's a lot of mental baggage. Whatever happened in that situation, I took that on. Maybe I started trusting people less, and it's completely irrational, but you do. I've always said it, but writing music and lyrics is the most therapeutic thing. I'm really lucky in that sense, because it's the best way to get stuff out, you know? To write about it and sing it on stage. He added, it's not just about that. There's good stuff, there's bad stuff, there's weird stuff. It's kind of more like a think piece on love and how it can affect you. Not just you, but other people. You go into a relationship and people pick sides. There's a pack mentality. It's quite an easy way to write a concept album about love. Everything boils down to love in the end. Obviously, ammo is Portuguese for I love. Obviously, there's ammunition part. And then, in European Portuguese, it means master. It sounds happy, but there are all these hidden meanings that make it more complex. Bring Me the Horizon's new album, Ammo, is projected to be released on January 11th. Uh, It remains to be seen at this point what the rest of the album is going to sound like. It sounds like they're saying that the music from the band is going to be much different than what we're used to, and Mantra was released as that comfortable, this is a sound that you know from the band, this is something that you're used to. Obviously, we will have to wait and see. Let us know in the comments what you think about this. What do you think that these other songs are going to sound like? It's definitely an exciting time to be a Bring Me The Horizon fan. Thank you so much for choosing Rockfeed. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. Thanks for choosing Rockfeed, and we'll see you guys very soon.